What's up there, black gold? Progressive black gold. $10 is gonna win 62,000, unlike this machine, which is only gonna win 25,000. So with the same payouts on the pay table, why not? Why not have a little extra chance, right? Unless you guys can tell me that it's going to be a lot harder to win these guys right here. But I don't think so. I think the odds are gonna be the same no matter what. So if you're gonna let all the black golds line up, why wouldn't you wanna get more than uh, two and a half times your, your money there, right? So we'll see. But you know what it is, guys. 100 credits in there means it's more spin Monday. So we've got 50 spins at Black Gold. And you know I love this machine from that uh, redemption parlay in Atlantic City. So hopefully we'll make a little magic happen here as well. Maybe those triple bars will come out again. All right, guys. Let's see what we can do with 50 spins at Black Gold. Be nice. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. The YouTube algorithm and old school will love you for it. Here we go. Come on. I'd be happy with uh, just double bars, you know? Double bars will make a double up. Come on. And yes, black gold is just wild. It is not a doubler. <laughs> Come on, black gold. All right. Up and over by 10 bucks, but could have been 500. Gotta love the old Bally's machines. Where were you the last one? Oh. Come on. Got a wheel of fortune behind me. At least it's not as loud as cash time. <laughs> Doesn't like the bet max. All right, black gold, you let me play. If the handle works. And it does. Come on. Oh, what are you talking about there? There's the 500 I wanted, guys. What do you think about that? And the handle works. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Black Gold. You did old school with solid right there. Man, I wish it was four times. That's pretty with the double bar. Looks familiar with the triple bar, right, guys? <laughs> Cheers. Wow. And that's over a thousand bucks, you know? Gotta protect that profit now, guys. Gotta protect it. But let's see what the backup spin will do. Because this is gonna be a shorter video, because you know I don't really want to give it back. And I've done that before. Come on, let's do it now. Again. Oh, man. Come on. Wait a second, you know what? I'm being silly. I'm thinking that I'm only playing one credit and one 500. Just hit it for a thousand bucks because there's 1500 in the machine right now, guys. Duh, <laughs> duh. We can give it at least another hundred bucks in backup spins and see if we can't get a little more out of this machine, right? And maybe we'll do something else, you know? Go a little crazy, maybe do some uh, higher spins, but let's protect that profit. Come on. Let's make it a no-brainer and get back up over 300 credits. Come on. All right, you know what? I forgot. We need to use the handle. Mm, maybe one more time. All right. I 
think taking it down to 1400 is going to be about 30 spins, not 50 spins. But you know, oh, there we are again. Yeah, I think this is the 30th spin, guys. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do the handle. All right. You know what? We got to protect that profit and cash that out because you've seen those $15 spins and they have been not so nice to old school. But when you could take $500 and turn it into $1,400, you do that for a $900 profit. Cheers. Little bonus action's going to come. Maybe I'll do a little bucks and banter, you know, kind of debrief digest this win and we'll see what happens but as always i thank you for the support i thank you for the thumbs up it worked this time and cheers more action to come right now triple diamond in a dollar version with 30 dollars in there means it's bucks and banter time today mando has a question have you ever thought about adding some foodie videos for the restaurants at the casino you visit. I have thought about doing that, but as you all know, I like to shake things up a little bit. For example, a celebration snack when I was in Las Vegas, and I was lucky enough to get into one of the hottest sushi restaurants for the omakase, or chef's choice dinner. All I really wanted to do is show you the experience of each and every course being brought out and how beautiful and delicious they were. I have something similar coming up for a celebration snack or two, while I was on board a celebrity cruise that Moss, Mom, and the family were recently on, and I know you're gonna enjoy it. I think doing a review with an entree or two at a restaurant that you would order may not give the restaurant a fair assessment because those one or two dishes may not be in the wheelhouse of what the restaurant is offering or known for. Perhaps doing a review of a casino eatery by just showing the ambiance or the dining area and describing the experience, such as the service, the quality of the food, and the value for what you're getting. I think being a little more generic like that and not specifically showing one plate is, in my opinion, more informative to the viewer to decide for themselves. So look out for the special experience from an eatery near a cruise ship, and you just may see some restaurants being reviewed in celebration snacks in the future. So as always, guys, I thank you for your bucks and banter questions. And if you have a bucks and banter question, you, you can ask it in any video, just hashtag BB, and it might be answered in an upcoming video. And looks like nothing is really gonna happen here. Ah, all right, with a little triple diamond, but we'll see. I think I might just take 10 bucks out of here and move on, guys, because more spin Monday was more lucky Monday for old school. Yep, this is going to be the last spin, unless... Ah, all right. You got 20 bucks from me. Cheers, all. Thank you so much for watching this Bucks and Banter segment. More to come real soon. Well, hello, old school slot fans. Today is my turn to make the celebratory snack which is my summer salad. It is basically a bunch of uh, chopped vegetables and with a vinaigrette, which you can substitute as, as you wish. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And we're gonna show you how to make this today, okay? Thanks again. Awesome, let's do this, Moss, let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, so here are the ingredients, which is nothing more than uh, chop, wash, prep, put together, and create the salad dressing. Red onion, green, and red pepper. Some parsley, you can also use cilantro, you can use basil, whatever kick you want it to have in that garnish. Uh, we need some lemon for the dressing, olive oil, salt, and pepper. We have two tomatoes and a half of an English cucumber. And that is pretty much it, along with, whoop, hiding there, beans and a can of corn. That's all you need. Moss is busy chopping away, and I will show you her culinary skills, and we will put this awesome salad together. So we have Moss now chopping up the tomato. Take it away, Moss. Okay, so we cut it in quarters like this, and we take um, the bad stuff from inside because it becomes too saggy if you leave the flesh that comes inside the tomato. So we just want the 
stuff without the seeds. Yeah, she takes all the gooey stuff out. Yeah. And that so, makes the kids super happy. I know. So they probably will look like this, something like this once it's done. So you take all the inside. So you just want the flesh of the tomato so it's not too saggy. And the same goes for the cucumber. The cucumber, you cut it in half. And I scoop it out with this instrument, which is like a melon. Yeah. What's it called? A melon baller. Yeah. Versatile. Versatile. It's also a seed remover. Seed remover. So that's it. And that's all there is to this. And then, of course, you're just going to, I'm going to roughly you, show you how to chop it. You have so, seen Moss in her aftermath chopping, and I show you everything done. So something like that goes along like this, and then you just dice it really thin. You go, Moss. <laughs> all right. We're going to get the all. cucumber. The tomato, the green and red pepper, the red onion, all chopped up. We'll show you how to make the dressing. And that's it, guys. It's an easy breezy summer salad. And it is awesome. She's still going. Just so you see the proof, it is hand chopped. All right, Moss is just juicing one lemon in a measuring cup, making sure the seeds and a little bit of the pulp doesn't get in there. And then we're just gonna add some olive oil in while whisking, and then salt and pepper to taste. Let's get that olive oil going. So in here we have the lemon juice, which I have added the pepper and also the salt, one teaspoon of salt and taste of pepper. And now I'm gonna start whisking in the olive oil. The lemon was a juicy one, so it was like one quarter of a cup with the lemon juice. And now I'm gonna whisk in the olive oil. So about another quarter cup of olive oil to bring it to about a half cup of dressing. Mm -hmm. And you whisk together right, like together. that. So you're making a vinaigrette. There we go. Light, healthy, citrusy, delicious. And Look at all these vegetables, chopped up and ready to build Moss's summer salad. Next stop, let's build this thing. All right, looking good. That's it. All right, all right we're ready. All righty. And there you have it, guys, Moss's famous summer salad. So light, so crisp, refreshing, delicious, healthy, the whole nine yards, and 100% vegan. <laughs> I know I'm a meat eater, so it's nice to have meatless dishes as well. And this is one of the best. So cheers, guys. Thanks so much for watching this celebratory snack. I hope to bring you lots more celebratory snacks because that means the slots have been nice to old school. Cheers. Thanks so much for your support. I'll see you real soon.